and welcome to the 340 club in this video we're solving this question the square root of the square root of 81 minus the square root of 80. so you can pause at this point and try to solve it yourself so on that note let's begin so the first thing we'll do is to simplify the square root of 81 which we know gives us a result of 9. so add the square root of 9 minus the square root of 80 right the square root of 9 minus root 80 right so we can break root 80 down which is 16 times 5 right 80 is 16 times 5 so the square root of uh, 16 is 4 so root 80 is going to be 4 root 5 but i can also break it down as um 4 times 20 and the square root of 4 is 2 so it's 2 root 20 right so there are many ways to break down root 80 one way gives you 4 root 5, another way gives you 2 root 20. For this question, we'll go with 2 root 20, right? So we have the square root of 9 minus 2 root 20. Now I'm going to use this expression, right? a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. I'm going to write whatever is under the square root sign in the, in the same form as this expression, right? And to do that, we're going to make... Um, a equals root 4 and b equal root 5 right if a is equal to root 4 then a squared is 4 and if b is equal to root 5 then b squared is 5 in that sense a squared plus b squared is 4 plus 5 which gives us 9 and that matches what's on the left hand side in the same way 2ab is going to be 2 root 4 root 5 and that's 2 root 20 that also matches what's on the left hand side so it means you can rewrite what's on the left hand side using a equals root 4 and b equals root 5 in the form a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So I have square root of 4 plus 5 minus 2 root 4 root 5, right? 4 plus 5 is 9, root 4 times root 5 is root 20. So nothing has changed. The equation expression remains the same. So now the next thing we'll do is to come back to that same identity right so a squared plus b squared minus 2ab we know it's, it's the same as a minus b all squared right that's an identity a squared plus b squared minus 2ab equals a minus b all squared now that our expression is in the form a squared plus b squared minus 2ab i can write it in the form a minus b all squared and we know a is root 4 and b is root 5 so it becomes root 4 minus root 5 all squared so I have the square root of the square root of 4 minus the square root of 5 all squared, right? So I know if you have the square root of a number that is squared, it is equal to the absolute value of that number. So root square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x, right? So at this point, I can write this as the square root of the absolute value of 2 minus root 5, right? Root 4 is 2. So this becomes the absolute value of 2 minus root 5, right? Since root 5 is bigger than 2, it means that expression is negative. And the absolute value of a negative expression is just the negative of that expression. So I'm going to have negative 2 minus root 5. Negative 2 minus root 5. And that's the same as root 5 minus 2, right? So our expression, the square root of the square root of 81 minus the square root of 80, evaluates to root 5 minus 2. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. If you like this channel, subscribe to it for content like this. And make sure to leave a comment as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.